Well, hello there, my friends. My name is Patrick Werner. I'm a follower of Christ, and I get to spend this Tuesday evening with you guys looking at some scripture and um, just sharing some things that I'm thinking about. <clears throat> so I'm going to get right to it tonight. Um, I want this to be more of a time for you to reflect on the scripture than just to hear me uh, drone on and on. But like many people, myself at the top of this list, um, people like to focus on the negative parts of life, to be pessimistic. And most people who knew me well would say I kind of slant on the pessimistic side. It's a habit for me that I've developed for my whole life, and I've tried to, and I continue to need to change that attitude. Um, because to be honest, when I take a moment to think about my life and what God has gifted me, how could I ever complain? How could I be pessimistic? Um, now, we all have and will be treated unfairly. We all have sorrows. We have to deal with difficult situations. But that's part of the world that we find ourselves in, this broken world. And most of those things, not all, but most, are created by our own choices or the choices of those around us. But the reality is this. God is faithful. God is good. He's reached out to each one of us. And for some of us, he's waiting for us to call on him. And for other people, myself, in that group, he's responding to those of us who have called on his name. <clears throat> he is steadfast. He is loving. He is merciful. He is beautifully perfect beyond words. And so for today, I want to share a psalm, Psalm 138. And I want us to take some time to reflect on the words of David to God. And let us learn to be thankful to God for all that he has done for us and all that he will continue to do. So here is Psalm 138. I give thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down to your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you, ex you have exalted above all things your name and your word. On the day I called you, you answered me. My strength of soul you increased. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hand. It's a beautiful, beautiful psalm of thanksgiving to God. So my encouragement for you today is the same I've given myself. Let's read and pray over this psalm tonight. Let's reflect on who God is, what Jesus has done for us, the love that God has shown us, and let's respond to Jesus' call to follow him. For those of you that don't know Jesus, I implore you to pray and to understand who Jesus is and accept his call in your life. For those of us who have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, let us be thankful for all that Jesus has done for the world and for ourselves. Let us be thankful. Let us count our blessings. And that's what I have for you guys tonight. I hope you have a, a wonderful week. 
as always, I love you all and uh, you're in my prayers and hopefully you guys will be praying for me as well. So good night and I'll see you guys next week. God bless.